Well, hello again. Lee Ellis here with this month's coaching from the Leading with Honor series. I'll tell you, today I'm going to talk about something that's kind of the, the blood and sinew of everything we do, and that's culture. You know, we hear a lot about employee engagement these days. Well, culture is really central to employee engagement because we're talking about something that bonds everyone in the organization together. It has to do with the values of the organization, and that's very important because people want to know what, is, what do we stand for, who are we, what's our mission, what's our vision, what's our values. That kind of information comes together to define your culture. It also helps people to know they belong, and if they see their leaders living by that culture, and it's real, then they're going to be drawn to follow their leaders. That's just normal human uh, way of responding. You know, most of the great companies that we know about, they have a very good culture, very strong culture. You think about IBM. A guy told me a few years ago, and I know things change, but he said, when I went into a company and I showed my business card with the IBM logo on it, people knew what kind of culture I came from, they trusted it, and they wanted to do business with me. Well, today, more frequently, we hear about things like Starbucks. We know that Starbucks has a great culture, and they've intentionally built that. They've taken care of their employees. Their employees take care of their customers. That's real employee engagement. And Zappos Shoes. I was able to hear one of the uh, key culture officers from Zappos Shoes speak recently in Washington, D.C. at a meeting. And she said that when they go through their screening process, they do such a good job, and then they go through their training, that they actually offer people a bonus to leave the company and not work at Zappos. This is kind of a test to see that the person really believes in the culture and is really aligned with the values and sees the future for themselves and a place there. So they started out at something like $300 or $500. Now they're up to $5,000 they offer to a person who will leave the company. That's a pretty strong incentive to leave, but what that really tells you is how strong the incentive is to stay and how much they value people who buy into their culture as being important for their business. You know, our leaders in the POW camp were amazingly visionary and amazing in the way they built a culture that culture that really helped us survive and return with honor. I remember General Reisner, he had such a simple perspective on it. He said, be a good American, live by the code of conduct, take torture to resist the enemy, up to the point of permanent physical or mental damage, then no more. Go ahead and give in. Give as little as possible. Stay in the fight. And then get ready to bounce back. Pray every day. Stay in communication. Stay united and go home proud. That was so simple, yet many people attribute that basic cultural guidelines, those values, as being what held us together and enabled them actually to have hope that we could survive and make it home after five, six, seven, and eight years. Culture is very powerful. So think about what does that really mean? What is culture? It's really about your values, your mission, your vision, and who you are, the essence of who you are, and what sets you apart from other organizations. You have to have clarity on that. And to get that clarity actually takes quite a bit of courage. You know, everything that we do in leadership really takes courage. And getting clarity about your culture, it sounds soft. Some leaders don't want to do it for that reason. Some leaders don't want to do culture because they don't want to be held accountable to the values that they're establishing. Their values are not as high as other people's might be. And that takes a lot of courage to buy into that. You have to be authentic and believe in yourself and who you are to really establish a culture. So setting that culture with clarity and real commitment. When the leaders have clarity and communicate it all the way down in the organization, when they are committed to walking the walk as well as talking the talk, and then it really needs to be creative. How can it be special for your group? You know, the Marines have a special culture. Uh, there was a, uh, a, a Navy outfit, I think it's VF-143, and on their tails of all their airplanes, it was supposed to be a leopard. It looks like a puking dog. So they're known throughout the Navy as the puking dogs. And, you know, you really got to be proud of your culture to go by the name puking dogs. So, you know, your culture needs to be creative. You need to be committed to it. It needs to be communicated all the way down to the bottom, and you need to courageously stay with it. Now, some examples would be a culture of accountability. Some organizations have a strong culture of accountability, some don't. I'm working on a book right now to help those that don't 
called courageous accountability. And the whole idea is to get that clarity and build that culture that's built around accountability. We'll see that people who do that are very successful and people who don't usually aren't. So having that commitment to build a culture around uh, the things that you value that are important to you, it's going to be so important. Now here's the payoff. People that are in a strong culture that they believe in are committed and they are engaged. And we know from Gallup's research that engaged employees, engaged people in an organization bring engaged customers and clients. And engaged customers and clients increase the bottom line significantly and that's very important to any organization. In addition, it just makes it a much better place to work, which means you have lower turnover, higher retention, happier employees, better energy in the workplace, and a place where people look forward to going every day. All of that comes to the bottom line, as well as the emotional health of the organization. Everybody wants to be in a healthy organization, but it takes courage to build culture and to build that. I hope you'll take that challenge, build your culture and lead with honor.